Good morning, K3. How's everybody doing today? Happy uh, Wednesday. Hope everybody got a good night's sleep. Let's get ready to learn today. All right, everybody. Here we go. Santiago, good morning. Sylvia, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sophia and Samaje, good, good morning. One, two, one, two, three. Good, good morning, Gideon. Good, good morning, Tyson. Hey, Hello, and how are you, Alan? Early in the morning. morning. Oh, Sylvia, good morning. 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 How are you? Early in the morning. I say good morning, Benjamin. Hello, and how are you? Akira. Morning. I clap my hands in the morning. I do my dance in the morning. I shout hooray. This is gonna be a wonderful day. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Walter. Hello. And how are you, Natalie? Me in the morning. I say good morning, Noah. Hello. And how are you, Marvin? Good morning, Trinity. Good morning, Lily. And how are you, Giovanni? Good morning. Say good morning, Chloe. Hello. And how are you, Jules? Morning. I clap my hands in the morning. I do my dance in the morning. I shout hello. This is gonna be a wonderful day. Jules, good morning. Seven. And how are you? Hey, good morning. Mr. Zora, good morning. Miss Rich, good morning. Parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters, good morning. Welcome to another day of K3. Early in the morning. And I got my coffee. I'm ready to go. Hello, and how are you? Hello, and how are you? Hello, and how are you? Awesome. K3. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Mr. Trevor says his coffee. It's kind of cloudy outside for me today. Um, oh, that's nice. That's very, very nice. K3, here we go. Let's do a little, you know what? We haven't done Mr. B in such a long time. And I love Mr. B. He is awesome. There we go, buddy. Maybe I need. Call me Mr. Maybe I need to call day, me Mr. Tell me what sound legs make to your face. Every day, tell me what sound legs make. Get up and do the alligator dance. The bumblebee dance. Mr. B. Beeping. 
and short vowels, everybody. You guys are too fast, so I skipped ahead a little bit. Good. Let's do it faster. Pop, pop, popcorn words, pop, pop, popcorn words, pop, 
Pop up when you read in newspapers, books, and magazines. Pop, pop up when you read in newspapers, books, and magazines. Yeah, I mixed them up. R. The 
cold showers bring another shower. Hopefully you're able to get outside, maintain social distance, take a walk and see. Spring is in full bloom right now. The flowers are coming out, the insects and the animals are coming out, waiting more for winter. All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. So today is Wednesday, April. I'm just going to go through the 28. I'm going to put one more in my head. 28, 29. Today is Wednesday, April 29. Let's count. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. If you go back there, sorry, pattern from uh, up here. Sphere, sphere, cube, cone. Sphere, sphere, cube, cone. Sphere, sphere, cube, cone. Sphere, sphere, cube, cone. Sphere, 29. We are almost done with April. Almost May. Uh, let's count Mr. Stanton. So we're we'll stopped at 20. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 and 1. 10 and 2. 10 and 3. 10 and 4. 10 and 5. 10 and 6. 10 and 7. 10 and 8. 10 and 9. 10 and 10. Or 20. 20 and 1, 20 and 2, 20 and 3, 20 and 4, 20 and 5, 20 and 6, 20 and 7, 20 and 8, 20 and 9. All right. Let's share out our next.
<laughs> All right, K3. Awesome, 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 awesome. Here we go. Looking great. I hope everybody got started right away. I hope everyone worked the whole time. I hope you learned something and had fun. You cleaned up quickly. Um, awesome work, K3. Let's move on to, you know, we haven't done blends and diagrams in a while. Let's do a little diagram review right now, all right? A digraph is when two consonants come together in a word and the letters stand for one sound, as in ch, ch, chicken, or sh, sh, sheep. Digraphs can be found at the beginning, the middle, or at the end of a word. This is the digraph song, so sing along, long, long, just me and you. transition now into is our right to self. 
we're working, we've been working on our small moments, our personal narratives all week, most of the month actually. And I would like you to take a look at when we write about a small moment, okay? Writing about a small moment. First thing you're gonna do is think of something that happened to you, okay? Because we're writing about something that happened to you. It's a personal narrative, it's about you. Then what you're gonna do is writers of you, because you are writers, you'll picture it in your mind, okay? Then you're going to sketch it on paper. Remember, a sketch is just an outline. It's not a super perfect picture. We'll go in and we'll add colors and details later. Then you're gonna write words on each page. And at the very end, we're gonna go back and add colors and details. Now, yesterday, we talked about adding, um, we talked about a beginning, middle, and end, right? Every story should have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And yesterday, we talked about problems and solutions. And when we're doing beginning, middle, and end, we wanna use special words that are called transition words. Transition words help us know the order of things that happen, okay? I'm gonna read our transition words. After, before, first, then, last, next, now, soon, because, when, one day, and suddenly. These words help the reader understand your story better. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get my blue marker. I'm going to reread this story, this problem story, and I'm going to underline all of my transition words. One day, I was drinking coffee in the kitchen with Zorro. Suddenly, Zorro barked at a bird. Then I jumped and spilled coffee all over my shirt. Now, that tells you something too. Now I was going to be late for school because I had to change my shirt. When all of a sudden, that tells me that something's happening really quickly. My family came out to help me. All right, and you'll notice, first I thought about my picture, my story, then I sketched my picture. I made sure I had characters, people, and animals. I made sure I had a setting, I was in the kitchen, right? And then I had a problem and a solution, okay? And I used my transition words do another one actually you know i didn't finish i started this story about sophia and i um fishing right but i didn't i did the sketch but i didn't write the the, the middle and the end so here's my beginning okay sophia and i went fishing at the lake one day oh there's the transit the transition word one day it's a great way to start off a story it was a very hot day. There was no wind to cool us off. And while I'm rereading this, I just noticed something. I do not have a period here. That's a good thing, see? Authors can catch their mistakes. So I have two characters. I have where we were. We were at the lake. I have our setting. And I even added details. I said it was a very hot day, right? Now, that's my beginning. Here's my middle. See if you can find the transition words that I used. Then Sophia cast her line into the water. The bait sunk to the bottom. This is the bait. It's the stuff you catch a fish with. Suddenly her fishing pole bent toward the water. Sophia yelled, I got a bite. Uh, let's go back. Here are my transition words. Yeah, there's one. Then, right? Then Sophia cast her line into the water. The bait sunk to the bottom. Suddenly, 
her fishing pole bent toward the water. Sophia yelled, I got a bite. I got a bite. Sorry, let's turn the page. And this will be the end. Beginning, middle, and end. Next, there it is, right there. Started off with the transition word. Next. Next, Sophia reeled in with all her might. When you reel in, you pull the line in. She caught a huge fish. Before we let the fish go, we took a picture. Before is also a transition word. It tells when something's happening. Before we let the fish go, we took a picture. All right? So what I would like to see in your writing today, I'm gonna leave these transition words here, okay? Um, I'd like you to hit pause right now and go back to your writing and try and use the words after, before, first, then, last, next, now, soon, because, when, one day, or suddenly. You can use any of these words. You don't have to use them all. Pick two or three, maybe one per page, okay? You could start off one day, then you could say then, and then you could say last, beginning, middle, and end, right? Pick three words that I want you to add to your writing, all right, K3? Awesome, let's go back here. We have been working on our composing and decomposing numbers. Remember, if you're decomposing numbers, you're breaking it up into little pieces on the decomposer. So what I need you all to do right now is go and get your MacBooks. Hurry up, you little children. The decomposer needs to decompose some numbers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, everybody. Are you ready to show me how to compose and decompose the numbers? Let's start off on page 463, everybody. It says, make numbers 16 to 19. I'm gonna start off from the right, my name. Okay. Make numbers. 16 to 19. Lesson four, essential question. How do we show numbers 11 to 19 in another way? How can you show me a different way to make ele numbers 11 through 19? And today we're writing specifically 16, 17, 18, and 19. Here we go. The directions for explore and explain say use red counters to sh write the to show 10. Use yellow counters to show 8. Well, let's start off with the red counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. But Mr. Travers, I don't have red counters at home. If you don't have red counters at home, just take a red crown and give me ten red circles, okay? Write the number. The number's ten. I'm going to write ten in red. Next direction says use yellow counters to show eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And I am going to write my eight here. Okay. And then when we put 10 and eight together, what number does 10 and eight make? 10 and 8 makes 
you know that because we've been doing Mr. Stanton counting from day one, okay? So if I were to do this without counters, first direction, show 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I write 10. I'm done with my red. I get my yellow, the direction say show eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I write eight. 10 and eight together, we're bringing them together, we're adding, we get 18. C and show, okay, see, that's a little fuzzy. There we go, all right, oh, so we're not gonna use counters this time, right? Today I think we're gonna count, we're just gonna color and we can color in two different colors. Color the objects red to show 10. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Here's my 10 frame. I know there's 10. The 10 frame is all filled up. 10. And then I'm going to use my yellow to count the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to do six and 10 and six make 16 all together. I can even put a plus sign here. 10 plus six equals 16, right? Let's do the next one. What am I going to do with my tens? What color? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I write 10. Now I go to my ones. How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten and seven more make 17. And then I can go back and add my plus sign. 10 plus seven equals 17. All right. Last one, K3. Here we go. I'm going to count my tens first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Easy. That's a 10 frame. I know that's 10. And how many ones? I'll go to my other color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 8. I didn't color them in. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 and 8 make 18. 10 and 8 make 18. And I can come back. 10 plus 8 equals 18, right? On your own. Right here. And problem solving. Here you're going to have to draw 10 and 7, 10 and 9, and then finish it up with your homework, okay? Woo. K3, great day. Have a great day. Have a lot of fun. Work hard. I will see you in our Zoom meeting today at 9 o'clock. Um, bring me some, some yummy breakfast or some coffee today at Zoom meeting. All right, guys, I need a little pick-me-up. All right, I'll see you all soon.